Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people age 10 years and up. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back to the zoo. My name's Jack. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, glad to have you. In this session, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in a habitat for the common ostrich, and we're going to be doing it in this general area here. But before we get to that, let's see if there's anything that needs handling. We have a VIP player. This is Hernandez. That's Hernandez there leading a group, apparently. We will contact Hernandez and say, hi there, how you doing? And get that free 20 uh, conservation credits. Um, okay, we have three bonuses, entry ticket prices, release to the wild, five greater flamingos. Okay, well, we'll see if that happens. And we have to have 950 guests in the zoo and we don't yet. Anything that needs taken care of. Um, okay. Namusa is expecting. She's pregnant. All right. Yailene has matured. Yailene is getting traded out of the zoo. And Ajil has matured. We're going to trade Ajil out of the zoo as well. That'll count for one of them, I suppose. And it says here, a fight due to overcrowding. Really? A fight due to overcrowding? Probably it's not actually overcrowding. It's the fact that I've got too many mature males or something. So let's look at our um, our common warthogs. There we go. Now that's not what I want to do. I was in the wrong place. Duh, doofus. Okay. Common warthogs. Common warthogs. Common warthogs. Okay. And we'll line them up according to age. Wow. Okay, Lulu um, is getting old. Huh. All right. Eventually, we're going to have to um, we're going to have to replace our, our warthog population because they're all getting old to the point that we have one of them that's, that I I, I could not uh, rehome her, I could not trade her out of the zoo. So, looks like she's going to be in the uh, warthog uh, habitat until she dies, which is kind of sad, really. And we have an inspector who just arrived at the zoo. There's our inspector. She's going to inspect. I have no doubt that. Uh, She'll find everything okay. Now, um, the first thing that we're going to do here with the ostrich, um, with the ostrich habitat, is I want to put out an outer, uh, an outer fence, if you will, because ostriches will bite, and they are not nice. I mean, a lot of people don't think about that, but you know. They look like big old go goonie birds, but the truth is they, they are mean animals. And they will kick the crap out of you if you have if they have a chance. So <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a fence up. Ah uh, that'll do. Okay. And then we'll bring it. Whoops, it's, it's just a little crooked. There, okay. So this is going to be our fence. I'm going to start it right over here. And I know I usually don't bother with things, or either that or I put them in last, but I was thinking about this, and this is something that I think will work pretty well. Okay, we'll move it slightly so that it matches the curve here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll work. We'll do the same thing here. have that bend this way. Like, say that. <clears throat> now, there's a piece that I want, there's a fence piece. what I want. And we're about to have a, a baby. This is not quite what I was hoping for, to, to be honest. I was looking for some uh, I was looking for like a chain link piece. That's okay. I will find uh, something to use. Those are all entertaining to look at, but not exactly what I was hoping for. That's not it either, really. quite what I'm looking for. And I don't want to use the glass one here, I want to use the chain link. So, that's too short. Those are too short. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not, mm, almost. You know what, yeah, hold on. I think I can deal with this. This is normally something I use for, for predators, but it'll work. And we've got a pregnant warthog, all right. Okay, veteran research just, uh, veterinarian research just popped up. That's information for the armadillo. Okay.
see if this will work. Okay, just a little adjustment, a little adjustment. Come on, you can do it. Oh, geez, this is going to be rough. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, you know what? I may actually speed this part of it up just to make it a little more enjoyable for you guys to watch. Sorry about that, guys. So I'll see you on the other side of this rather unusual uh, uh, time-lapse part. I'll see you on the other side. All right, that's done. Uh, honestly, if I had known that it was going to be that complicated, I would never have used that curve, that, that curve piece. I would have just used this, but you know, it is what it is.
And now for a change up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take and put a keeper hut in there. Hanging right in the middle. Okay, and we need a barrier that goes right across here. Okay, <clears throat> and this is the outline of our um, of our habitat. Let's get the borders, the the uh, uh, barriers, up and running, and then after that, we'll add the animals. Now I'm hoping I have the space right. If not, it's easily fixed. It really is. It, you know, if, if the space isn't right, and it ought to be right, it ought to be right. Ost uh, ostriches, believe it or not, don't require a lot of room. But, uh... You know, if it if it's a little too small, I can fix it. Like so. Now let's get these these birds in. I have four of them. All right. Uh, 
that's just going to be how it is, isn't it? Yep, it's just going to be how it is. The door is going to be off center. Oh well. Put a little bit of a hill here in the middle. Not much one, just a little. Kind of like that. And we're going to do it again. Okay, we are, we're actually a little shy on the space, but that's easily fixed. I'm gonna pause this right now because I got a couple of alerts going. And, you, you know, I, I told you that fixing the space, if we needed to fix the space, was not going to be a problem, and I meant it. It's not, you know, this is one of those things that is so easy to fix that it's not even funny, really. Hold on a sec. Just bring this over that way. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, and we'll give the birds a little extra space because they weren't shy very much. They, they had pretty much all the space they needed. They just needed a little bit, like a touch. A, a, a touch more. Yeah. It's the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. The forest protected shall prosper, the forest neglected shall die. Even aptitude to change attitudes, cause we have to prove it. That's right, it's too. Grab your shovel, let's work to do. The world's in trouble. You gotta build.